Here we go. Mr. President, John Bouchard. Well, hey, how are you? Pleasure to meet you, sir. Yeah, come in. Thank you very much. Take the chair there. I'm trying to uh, get back to see the Fred Eckert laws. Do you have any running for Fred Eckert's seat in Congress? Thank you very much, Mr. President. And uh, I just want to thank you for everything you've done for the country. And my only regret is that I won't be able to serve in Congress when you're presiding as President of the United States. Well, but the important thing is this whole Gary Matthews We've got to get back to where a Republican president can find himself with a Republican Mr. President, I'll do my best to try to do that. And, uh, thank you. And uh, concerns in my district that are, have always supported you, and, uh, and I will continue to. And I think I reflect that kind of an ideology, and I think we'll return this one this year. Good enough. Thank you. And uh, one of the concerns that the veterans have raised, I know you're supporting, is the cabinet status for the Veterans Administration. And it's something that I'll try to work towards, too. I think they probably want us to stand up about now. And, uh, yes, very good. Thank you. Head to the door. Thank you. 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 Well, I'm going to get Mike Sit down. Well, I wish you well at this. Well, thank you. I uh, just want to bring a message uh, from Mississippi that uh, you're very much loved down there, and, and we're very proud of your leadership on the country issue and, and uh, uh, frankly, generally uh, on the economy and taxes. Uh, of course, the, the number one issue in, in our district is the health of agriculture. We have some, it's a primarily an uh, agricultural uh, district. But, uh, the farmers are very happy. The 1985 farm bill has been good, and they want to move to a market economy. For I think that's great. I think that's where we should be going. Well, we should be, and you've been leading us in that direction, and I appreciate it. But, but all you've got, because we've been too long out of power in Well, Congress. I agree with you. And, uh, Webb Franklin uh, held this seat until two years ago that I'm running for, and he was merely defeated. And uh, Mike Espy, who has an absolutely horrible rating, uh, uh, very liberal, uh, particularly on defense issues, zero from the American Security Council. Uh, well, thank you. We well, sure want you to help. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Before we start the door. Yes, My cousin Mary Gordon works for the first lady. Oh, well, in the press office. Good to see you. President, I'm Lyons Gray from North Carolina. Uh, I'm glad to see you. Thank you for letting me be with you. Come sit down. I want to help do what you're leading for. It, I have admired you, sir, for years, and nothing will give me more pleasure than to help carry out the work that you've started. And I, I want to do it, and I've got a tough incumbent to beat, but with this help and others' help, we'll do it. The Congress in the wrong hands. Thank you. I couldn't agree more. Thirty years. It's been too long. Mm -hmm. yeah. It goes back to more than fifty years, almost sixty. But only a special. See, two, four years uh, has there been a Republican majority. Two of those years were in uh, uh, Truman's time, and two were in Ike's time. The rest of the time, every Democratic president has had a Democratic Congress, but every Republican president has had a Republican. I'm going to work to change it. Yeah. I'm going to work to change it. And I thank you, sir, what you have done for this country. And I'm sincere in that belief, and, and I want to help change it myself. Thank you so much. Well, I'm going to do my best. As they say, one for the Gipper, as you said so well. I'm grateful for you. And thank you for what you've done. It means a great deal. Thank you. Come see us. Mr. President. Good to see you. It's such a nice opportunity. 
It looks very good, and this is just great to have you helping me. And thank you very much from our district for taking the lead on IMF and on Start Talk. I'm very proud of you. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. I wanted to ask you something for the district also. We have a veterans hospital, and you vetoed in the budget, and we understand that uh, some funding for air conditioning. And I was wondering if you'd take a second look at it, and we'll be very careful to re-justify our request. Well, I know there have been some things that have been forced on us by this yes. budget situation. But uh, yes, we will. As a matter of fact, we will uh, determine that we're going to elevate the Veterans Administration to Wonderful. cabinet level. Very good. We're going to work really hard to get that. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I really appreciate this. I will. We, we need more of our people up here. Yes, yes, we do. We're going to be up here and supporting the Republican Party. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. This is on the front of that thing. I'll be gone. And that's been a long time ago. Yeah. 
we got some issues out there that's kind of hurting us. Let's, let's, this wilderness issue, track it pretty hard for us, if you would, please. Uh, they're wanting to put more wilderness under, you know, in, in Montana. We've got great expectations of oil and gas and lumber, and it would hurt us severely economically. It would hurt the state. Who's, who's, who's there? John, John Melcher and Pat Williams and Max Bacchus has got wilderness bills now of about 1.3 million acres. We got more than we can take care of or afford. Yes. And, uh, so if you'd track that for us, well, we'd appreciate that. You know, I am kind of environmentalist. I don't like the open land and all the rest of the thing, but I'm on the other side with there's just there's, accumulation of this. There's just so much stuff we can afford, though. Yeah. And the overthrust belt uh, on the eastern face of the Rockies is where that oil and gas lies. And see, this takes out any exploration or research or anything like that. And it impacts local government. Yes. Really bad. And I'm a county commissioner, so I speak to you as from a from a commissioner standpoint. Yeah. Well, we'll do what we can. I'd, I'd love it. I'd love it. And you You're doing well. Get out there and get it. I'll do that. I'll do that. Thank you very much. Thank you. like they all autographed their own pictures. They did, they did. I, but I did not give you the original. Uh, no, <laughs> I wouldn't expect that. <laughs> well, thank you very much for giving us the time to come in and talk with you today. Um, I know one of the big issues that we're going to be uh, talking about just in the next couple of days is our, the reaction to the ceasefire um, agreement. Uh, what has been the position uh, the reaction to that? Well, we, we want to make sure, first of all, that Knowing the fact of the tricks that we're not seeing some sanity tricks yeah. there. And uh, of course, the uh, significant thing is that uh, this is once where they've got, they've got to have humanitarian aid to even carry out the terms of this. Sure, sure. But I think we have to be ready to, to know that uh, there are a lot of things that the Sandinistas for eight years now, or eight or nine years, have refused to do, and who's going to be sure that they mean it now and will do it once these other fellows stop shooting? Yeah, well, but the only way that's going to happen if we can pass that package, and uh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to try to do that. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, trying to continue your message of less government, less taxing, less spending, and more freedom. I look forward to your help. Okay. All right, thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Nice to have you. This is Anna Chenault. How are you, Mr. President? Well, so good to see you. Well, good to see you. Yes, yeah, it's always Let's good to see you. Let's turn over to him for a minute. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Julius Belso. Mr. President. He's called Uncle Julius. Julius. New Jersey. We used to campaign together. <laughs> Yes, nice I make your you. first campaign in New Jersey. Yes. Good to see you, Mr. President. It's good to see you. Casey Oxus. This is a great place. Yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you. Dahlia Bobellis. Yeah. It's nice to see you. Theodore Paris. It's a pleasure. It's a nice to meet you, yeah. sir. Yeah. Good to see you. Thank you. Jerry Kamensky. That's yes, it. Thank you. Frank DeBalong. Hello from California. Good to see you. Steve Pasterpak. Mr. President, pleasure to be here. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Kathy Dress. Hello there. Nice to see you. And Ben Tonshan. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. All right. We're going to do fine. 
keep up the job in Central America. Just a little momentum well, that thank we you like very much. You maybe for your museum. Well, yes, and, uh, beautiful. Uh, we'll look forward to uh, seeing you. Hopefully, that in our convention in January we can make well, it. We are uh, always inspired by your spirit and by all the wonderful things you've done for our telling all of you what wonderful things you've done for us, yeah. not only for our administration, yeah. but just for the whole And also course. the First Lady, the wonderful job she has done. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I, this, these would not anyway be called rewards. These are just little mementos and souvenirs of your visit here to the office. They're key rings with the seal, the great seal on them. So thank you, Mr. President. I thank you very much for that. Thank you, for all that you, thank you, Mr. All that you've done and are doing. One of these days, we've got to have a Republican president with a Republican Congress. So yes. Yes. Hey, that's so we're all working for that. That's what I'm going to yes. devote myself to. Yes. How self-defeating it is to go and elect a president because they believe in the things that he says he's going to do, and they elect a Congress that won't let him do them. That's right, that's right. But you're doing a wonderful job, Mr. President. Yeah. We always admire and support you. Well, bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.